This is a numbered door. Yeah, it's door two. So who should go through the door this time? We don't need to be discussing who we're leaving behind this time, right? Right. It's set up so we'll be able to meet up again once we get through the numbered doors. Then there's no need for arguments at this point. Hmm. We should figure out who's going in first. Very well. Would anyone like to volunteer? I'll do it. I'll go too. And I suppose I need to go too then. All right. We're taking off. Okay, please be careful. Jesus. You two are acting like you're married, you know that? Oh, um... <laughs> Don't be silly. Cut it out. All right, let's go. Yeah. Let's do this. Where the hell is it this time? I don't see it! Oh, there it is! It's right there! <sighs> huh. <sighs> <sighs> it stopped. Oh, yeah. It stopped. <sighs> Man, I'll never get used to that. I'm not sure it's something I'd want to get used to. We should finish this game before imminent death becomes a normal thing. <laughs> Damn right. All right. This hallway's pretty short, but it's got five doors. Three on the left. And only one on the right. Don't forget the last one at the end of the hall. Uh, but it's got a metal plate over it, so I doubt we're going to get anywhere that way. All right, let's get started. I think we'd probably better split up. Is you okay with that? Yes, no problem. Sure thing. Then I'll take this first one. <laughs> I'll try the one next to it. Well, I guess I'd better get started too. Confinement room Ooh. hallway. So, when you go through door 3, you're automatically forced into this one. What the hell's that supposed to be? Like a drawing of a whirlpool or something? Well, if I had to guess, I'd say it's trying to look like water. There's a little tile on the drain. It doesn't look like we're going to be able to pull it out in there. I have to use our heads on this one. Alright, let's figure this thing out. Looks like the water doesn't work. Doesn't matter how much seven turns I think, no water's coming out. Has the water been shut off from somewhere else? A toilet paper tube, huh? I seriously doubt I'm gonna need this for anything. This part's thinner than the rest. In fact, this doesn't really look like it's part of the rest of this thing. This rod feels loose, maybe I can give it a couple of turns. Here we go. Looks like the rod comes out easily enough, but I don't think the rest of it's going anywhere. Hey, the sandal's pretty loose. Loose? You think it'll come off if you pull on it? it? Fell off. Look at this, that handle doesn't really fit on the string. Maybe it wasn't meant to be attached to it. Hmm. So if I just stick this metal rod into the handle... 
now we have a screwdriver. And you know, in retrospect, they probably should not have left the one in the bathroom. Something like a screwdriver is just too valuable in a situation like this to leave. <laughs> well, the shower room, I guess, since this would be the toilet room. Simple in a toilet, huh? Seems a little fishy to me. It's a sunset, but it doesn't look like the ones on the doors. There's a dirty blanket on the bed. Man, this is a mess. It's not even a bed anymore. Can't say I'd want to sleep there. The bed's really dirty. This chair is pretty old. Seven cent, I'd probably break. Huh? You say something? Nothing at all. What the hell? It's not opening. There's something up with this drawer. I don't trust it. Sweet, got the screws off. Now we can open the drawer. There's nothing in here. Well, maybe the drawer's what we need. The drawer, huh? Alright, let's yank the thing out. So now we have a dust drawer. As you can see, it fits well into any ensemble. You never know when you just need one lying around, right? This bump on the back, wonder what it's for. Maybe there's a hole somewhere and these bumps line up and trigger a hidden switch or something. Hey, we've seen weirder stuff. Doesn't seem that far-fetched. Or it could be that too, I guess. Leave it to seven to suck all the fun out of everything. This is why he does get invited to parties, man. Somebody made some wavy blue lines on this mirror with blue paint. Is that a drawing of a blue scarf? No, maybe not. This drain is kind of a weird shape for a drain. Think they made that shape for a reason, or just for fun? There's no knob on this faucet. There's no way we can get the water out of it like this. If we can find a knob or something that'll work as one, then we should be able to get water to come out of this thing. This wall. Is this supposed to be some sort of partition? What do they think this is? Privacy is important for these things. Well, it's not like you're going to use it, Lotus. At least the guards couldn't watch you drop a loaf. Heck, it's better than being totally exposed, right? So keep in mind, prisons don't actually have that type of thing because that's a blind spot that could be taken advantage of by the prisoners. So everyone has to do everything in public. This paper seems to be pretty old. Ew, how the hell can you touch that? It's, it's horrible. Well, it's not like I really got a choice, do I? It's not like I want to. Half-used toilet paper? Well, it's old, and it's kind of grossing me out, but there's nothing suspicious about it. It's just hanging from the wall. Well, if we're pulling the string, then it must be a toilet that flushes. A moon? What a filthy, disgusting moon. Yeah, it's pretty filthy, but it's a precious hint. Let's remember it, alright? Pull it to flush the toilet. That bed looks cold. Pretty sure you'd freeze to death in the winter. No kidding. If I tried to sleep here, my skin would dry out in no time. Well, it's not like you're that young anymore. Shouldn't really met My mind, Junbei, aren't you lucky? It seems you'll die before you have a chance to grow old and hideous. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, you're right. Dry skin is a woman's worst enemy. So now we have the towel. That goes with our little ensemble here. This bed looks even sadder without the pillow. So, it's still a terrible bed. I'd never sleep on a bed like that. Overall, Lotus's age is a little... misleading, I guess. She, I'd say she kind of looks younger than she actually is, and one of the things that's working against it is her model, because it should have stretch marks or a cesarean scar or something. Like, that would kind of make sense because of the... That would justify her costume, I should say, rather than just being some sort of little fan service thing. But yeah, what do I know? This looks like a chair for prisoners. It's rusty, but I don't think it's going to be a lot of help. Isn't that obvious? Look, I don't want to touch anything unless I have to. Lotus is not having this. Does she really not want to be in this room that bad? There's nothing in the drawer. Yeah. Something's not right, though. That handle in the drawer doesn't really fit, you know? It just looks messy. Why don't you take it out? 
So there we go, we're one step closer to building ourselves a desk. So there's a mirror on the other side of this drawer. Interesting. It's kind of an odd shape, and it looks like someone attached the handle with a screw after the fact. If I use the screwdriver and screw in the center of the handle, maybe I can... So now we have a knob! And sadly, we are now one step further away from actually making our desk. Well guys, now you know why I'm not really a handyman type. Sweet, the handle I got off that drawer fits onto the faucet perfectly. Now I can turn the water on. So that's kind of interesting. Does it just have cold water or what? Junpei, what are you doing? It's pretty obvious, isn't it? I'm running the water. I can see that. I'm asking you why you're just letting it run like that. Think about it, Lotus. This faucet didn't have a knob when we found it, right? What do you mean? Just watch. Any time now. Hey, water's filling up. Does that just mean the pipes are clogged? Whoops, let's turn it off for now. So, did anything change? The water stopped flowing. Thank you, Mr. Obvious. It's supposed to be Captain Obvious, by the way. Junpei, I'm leaving this one to you, alright? So there you go, I almost flooded the room. One more tick against me being a handyman. <sighs> if only we could have gotten something out of that, you know? Wait a minute. It's a tile. So we've got this tile, and it's got these red, blue, and gray lines. What the heck does this stuff mean? Hell if I know. Uh, what the? <sighs> hey, what's going on? Are you okay, man? <sighs> You're sweating like crazy. Are you alright? Ugh. <sighs> Yeah, I'm fine. Just got a little dizzy, that's all. That's definitely more than just a little dizzy. Are you sure? You don't look so good. <clears throat> what am... What am I doing here? Huh? What are you talking about? We opened the number two door and walked in here. Don't tell me you forgot. No, no, that's... that's not what I mean. It ain't much, but... I think some of my memories came back. I, uh... I... I... I think I've been here before. Uh... Uh... Huh? I said I've been in this room before. You were here? When? Why? Aoi... My Nona. What the hell was that? It's... It's right there. I feel like I'm this close to remembering everything, but I just can't! That's right, an experiment! There was some kind of experiment going on on this ship! An experiment? What? What, what sort of experiment? They were... they were trying to control people. Or... or something like that. What the hell are you talking about? Aoi, Light, and Nona. Those were their names. Well, some of them. The kids that were in the experiment, I mean. I think there were... four? Or five more? But I don't remember all their names. The number is important right there. <laughs> That's right. That's why I'm here. Huh. Experiment. Uh, cradle pharmaceuticals. Those kidnapped kids. Was I working that case? Huh? Wait, under this bed. The home's gone? No, maybe it was a different room. Ton of rooms on this boat that look just like this one. Hey, uh, what exactly do you remember? Maybe you could stop talking like a crazy person and tell me what's going on here.
Well, it's not like I really remember everything. I've only got bits and pieces, and they're scattered and don't make much sense. I don't care. Tell me the bits and pieces, then. Okay! From what I can remember, I think I was... a cop. A cop? Yeah. I was looking for that group of kids that got kidnapped nine years ago. You remember that, right? It was all over the news. Yeah, uh, I was still in school. I don't remember all the details, but I do remember some of it. I think it was a bunch of kids right around my age. They all just disappeared. Nobody knew why. Notice the number 16. It was all over TV and the newspapers every day. So you're saying you were investigating it? Yeah, that's what it looks like. I guess I found something. There was this medical company called Cradle Pharmaceuticals that had something to do with those kids. After I figured that out, I managed to get some information out of somebody who worked for them. I think it was... Tonight, a ship is set to take the children to a large passenger liner docked offshore. Yeah, that had to be it. That's why I went to the wharf. In the shadows, I searched the harbor until I found the ship he was talking about. There was a bunch of movement near it. Men in black suits, many of them carrying large bags. There was something about the way they moved as they were carried. No doubt about it. There were human beings in those bags. I moved before I realized it. I came out of hiding, my gun already in my hand. Don't move! I felt metal touch the back of my head. Drop the gun! Kept digging the coal metal thing into my skull. <sighs> there was nothing I could do. I did what he said and laid my gun on the ground. Then suddenly, there was a sharp pain in my neck. A needle. A drug? That was my last thought. My face hit cold concrete. I was out like a light after that. <sighs> I woke up on a hard floor. Damn it. Shit, my head hurts. Where am I? A small, shabby bed, a dirty sink, a toilet with no privacy. I'd seen it countless times as a cop. I'm in a cell, huh? Facing the toilet was a door set into the wall. I was still pretty woozy, but I made my way over to it. I pushed and pulled on it, but... <clears throat> it won't open. Not like I expected much else. Who'd be dumb enough to put me in a cell and leave it unlocked? Threw myself against the door a few times, but it wouldn't budge. I knew it. I gave up and made my way back to the bed, and sat down. I sat there for a very, very long time. <laughs> Who knows how long. Then, I heard a faint voice. The voice was far away. I couldn't understand what it was saying. But I could hear one. It was pretty high, probably a little kid. Huh?
No, it was several. Hmm. I hear five, or six, maybe more. Where? Where are they coming from? I pressed my ear to the wall and tried to listen through it. No, that's not it. Left. It's coming from under the bed? I hauled it. was. The bed had hidden an air vent under it. The hole in the wall was covered by a metal grate. I dropped flat on the floor and peered through the grate. I couldn't see shit. But I knew it in my gut. This was where those voices were coming from. Hold up. Why are there kids here? Then what my inside man told me popped into my head. Tonight, my ship is set to take the children to a large passenger liner docked offshore. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Am I on that ship? It didn't matter. All I knew was I had to get to those kids. I checked out the metal grate. It? I stuck my fingers in and grabbed it. And then... <laughs> yeah! How do you like that, you son of a bitch? I finally got the damn thing off. Sweat was dripping down my face, so I wiped it off and crawled inside. <laughs> hey, what happened after that? I don't... I don't remember what happens after that. I think I found some kind of door out of the duct. And I... I think I found some kids, too. <sighs> Not good. Why can't I remember what happened next? Ah, oh, man, what happened to the kids, Seven? Did you save them? I don't know. I don't know if it was me. I just... I've got this feeling. I think... one of the kids died. A girl, I think. Huh? <sighs> Anyway, just please don't ask me anymore, okay? I really don't remember anything else. It's fine. Don't push yourself. Going by what he said? The children who had been kidnapped nine years before? Apparently a company called Cradle Pharmaceuticals had been behind it all. They'd taken the children to the same ship we're on now. They'd been brought here for an experiment. Seven said it had something to do with controlling human beings. The 16 children who had been kidnapped were the subjects. Seven had said three of their names were Aoi, Light, and Nona. I think that's all I got. Oh, and, and Seven is, or was at some point, a cop. I can't really use any of this information anyway. I didn't learn anything about the notary game or Zero. Why were we brought to the same ship where they'd done those experiments nine years ago? And just what the heck is this about controlling human beings? Nuts. Did they really conduct an experiment like that? I don't have time to just stand here thinking. I need to get moving. Okay, real quick, I don't remember if his name was actually Light in the DS version. 
If you don't know the word for light in Japanese, would be hikaru, hikari, akari could be one. There's a few different ways to say it. Because I want to say that he had a Japanese name just like Aoi and Nona. Well, Nona, not really. That's. yeah. Because Aoi and light are pretty important. <laughs> It's hard to be sure it's so dark in here, but I don't think there's anything going on with the sink. Floss is too hard to turn. Toilet paper. It's still white enough for me to know what it is, even in the dark. There's nothing out of the ordinary about it. 14 equals E. I think I saw a 14 in red somewhere else. Was that something I'm carrying around with me? I don't actually think I've found that yet. It's barely enough to see by. I feel like I'm gonna get to see a ghost here or something. It's a blanket, not really a great one, but still. God damn it, no matter how hard I pull on this damn thing, it won't budge. I guess I won't be opening this anytime soon. It does look like it's got a keyhole, and there doesn't seem to be anything stopping it. How the hell am I supposed to open it? That's a funny way to spell emergency. There are a bunch of tiles on the door that spell emergence. Emergence? Maybe it means that we need to emerge out of here. Emergence. Probably, meant, probably means to emerge or escape from here. Do we need to do some of these tiles to open the door? There's a door in the back. I wonder where it goes. I don't know that, I tried a couple things, but yeah, same result. Guess that wasn't about to do anything. Oh well. I already took the drawer out of this desk. like a toilet. Pretty old school toilet, I guess that makes sense though. The ship scene's pretty old too. It's a bulge in the wall. Ah, I see. Oops, wrong button. Yeah, we can probably use this mirror to reflect the light. Now I just gotta figure out where to reflect the light. Maybe if I go somewhere that's a little easier to shine light on. Well, I shine light on the mirror in the back. Is that a number? So I shine light on this mirror, then I can see some numbers. I see a 4 on the left and a 7 on the right. 4 and 7. So if I shine this light on the mirror in the back... I get it. Symbols appear. Left side's a sun, the right's a moon. I don't remember this. It's nice to see the sink lit up, I guess, but all it shows me is pipe. That's special about the toilet paper. I don't think I need to bother shining any light on it. So, yeah, I guess you just need those. Starting to hit the D-pad again. <laughs> well, will they let me use this? <laughs> tiles we found in the tiles here are the same size. When I touched the tiles on the door, I felt something weird. Huh? I can move these tiles. And that means. Maybe if you swap the tiles we got with the tiles on the wall, something will happen. I suppose now we just need to figure out what that strange design on these tiles means. Anyway, we should look for all the tiles that are the same size. You're right. Let's meet back here after we've done a thorough search. Ceiling. Ceiling. So that's the ceiling, huh? I wonder if it's sealing us in. That's the hallway ceiling. Mm -hmm. 
Shrine of the Mirror looks like part of the design of the towel. The design of the towel is a river and a spring, right? If the picture on this mirror is a spring, and it's talking about the water in the sink. It's just like part of the image on the towel. The towel has a river and a spring, is it? The spring has a river indicating the sink, but... Oops. Probably made it so that someone wouldn't trigger it by accident. That's the case. That toilet is disgusting. You don't expect me to touch that thing, do you? If you don't want to, then I'll do it, alright? Lois refuses to go anywhere near it. And I may have to go dark. There's a number there too. The number is how many times you're supposed to flood how many times you pull the string. Number was seven if I remember correctly. Did you hear something? a loud flushing noise. No, not that. Oh, crud. Don't tell me I was supposed to look in here. I refuse to touch this. I refuse. What the hell's wrong with you? I don't want to touch it, ever. Wait, what was that noise? How many times did I pull this thing? Maybe I shouldn't pull it anymore. Time for this recording session. Damn, this toilet's pretty nasty to begin with, but the inside's even worse. Honestly, I'm amazed you could bring yourself to touch it. It's nastier stuff out in the world than a gross toilet. You're a real deep thinker, aren't you? The only way you can manipulate this in this room is that string. Chances are they made the puzzle somewhat triggered by accident. Second pull. Third pull. Again, it makes some kind of weird sound when I pull on that string. Same thing happened in the other room. That means... Don't you think it's a little suspicious that the other room gave us a hint to figure this one out? You're right. The room next door is just like this one, so that leaves the dark room. Well, this drawer opens easily enough. Something in the desk. There's a bunch of weird lines on this tile thing. I don't get this. I don't think I can figure this one out on my own. There's a bunch of weird lines on this tile thing. I don't get this. I don't think I can figure this out on my own. Looks like we should be able to use the tiles here. But there's still rooms that haven't been checked yet. I might once I've done that. Unless, does that mean this one unlocked? Door in the back won't open. So I have a little bit of time. Thing is, I have to find out where to use this drawer. I think it... Let's see. This is the one with the handle. I think this is the room where I got the other one. Sounded like something falling. What was that? Where did two? Let's open the drawer. There's a tile in here. I guess that's what made the noise, huh? I see. The drawers weren't the same size. That's why the tile didn't get knocked down by the other drawer. So anyway, the whole 14 equals E thing means swap out all the E's and the emergence. Okay. Looks like we've investigated all the rooms. The only mystery left is that door. Alright, let's crack that mystery then. We got four tiles. There are a bunch of tiles that are the same size up on the wall here. So we replace four of the tiles on the wall with the ones we've got. That should open the door. There's only one way to find out. Did you just hear something unlock? Does that mean we got it right? Yes, it looks like we did. The 14 hit on the tile. If you convert that to hexadecimal, it's an E. 
basically the ease and the emergence of the 14s from the tiles. So if we replace it, that gives up the answer. Do you really care why it worked? Let's just get out of here. Let's go.